Oh yeah, FIFA 18 demo is out and FIFA 18 is just around the corner. Guys, what is going on? Welcome back to yet another video. It is the fridge coming at you with another, I don't know why it's called 7 Minute Squad, that was probably a while ago, but I am bringing you version 2, or yeah, version 2 of the FIFA 18 starter squad that I'm thinking about building as soon as FIFA 18 is fully released. Now, if you guys want to drop a thumbs up down below, that'd be absolutely fantastic. If you're not sub to the channel, we broke 275, we're at 279, I believe, last time I checked. Let's try to get up to 300. We're getting there very closely. Um, my first video I did for FIFA 18 starter team has like it's been like one of the most popular ones. Got over 300 views on it. So this is the version two. I edited it a little bit up. I changed out. Uh, let's see here. So the midfield has changed. Defense is somewhat changed, and the attack stays the same as the first one, just so you guys know. But, so we're going to start it off, obviously, with uh, Sadio Dumbia. I just want to use him because I know he's going to be cheap, because he is in the... I don't have the team bought, which kind of sucks, but he's in... He's in the Liga Nos. No one's going to use him. Nobody's going to use his card. And in FIFA 18, his card is now... It's the same card, it looks like, roughly. 70, 79 overall still. Same pace. One less dribbling. One less shooting. Same passing, same defending, and one better physical for FIFA 18 cards. So he looks like he's going to be a very nice card still. I'm going to guess he's still going to have the 4-star, 3-star. So, I mean, he's going he's gonna to be cheap. He's definitely going to be like 700, 800 coins probably at the start of the game because nobody uses league enough. Nobody likes it. I don't know what it is. But, um, so I'm trying to stay away. I'm going to guess this team's probably going to cost around 12,000 coins. I don't have prices for it yet, but this is going to be a cheap start team. I can already see it. So coming in. At right forward, as you can already guess, is going to be Gelson Martins. And now, this is his upgraded card for FIFA 17. FIFA 18, he got upgraded even more to an 81, but he's still in the Liga Nos, though. So, he's probably going to be a cheap card to pick up at the start of the year as well. Um, he's got five star skills. Wow, I didn't know that. He's got five star skills and three star weak foot instead of four star, four star, which I'm okay with. Um, so, he's got one better pace, FIFA 18. He's got one better dribbling, uh, one less shooting, one better passing. Uh, he's got six better defending, nobody cares about. He's got two better physicality. He's got the 94 pace is what's going to be key here. He's, like, he's got the huge pace. So I'm thinking that he's going to be a very sweaty card. But nobody's really gonna, I don't think anyone's going to use him because he's in a uh, odd nationality. So I I don't know, though. It's going to be totally up to like how the prices work. But coming in, we still have Bruma as well. Uh, the uh, RB Lesbic version. Uh, it's actually this one right here is 81. Uh, he got upgraded as well from an 80 to an 81 for FIFA 18. Uh, I don't know if he's got 4 star 4 I'm going to guess he does. He's got same pace, same dribbling, same shooting, same defending, two better passing, and one better physicality. So, you know, everything else is the same, basically. His card is so, I love it. It's so agile. It's it's a great card to have. I think it might be a little bit pricey just because in the Bundesliga, but I can't, I mean, he's only 81 overall, so he might be packed, you know, quite frequently once packs start coming out and stuff like that. He might be packed pretty frequently. Price might come down to like, I'm going to guess probably about 1,000 to 2,000 coins. It's probably going to be his price for Bruma. But, I mean, I honestly, I don't know how this market's going to work out. But, anyways, moving on. We're going to come into a, this is where the midfield gets changed. So, we're going to bring in a new center mid. Uh, what's his name? Bruno Fernand. Uh, let me hit the, oh, Fernandez. There he is. Bruno Fernandez. Just transferred over into uh, Sporting uh, in the Portuguese League as well. So in FIFA 17, he's got, uh, what is he got? He's got three star, three star, kind of basic. He's, he's kind of tall, five, five foot ten. Uh, high medium work rates. Uh, I don't know how work it's going to uh, portray in this game this year. Uh, but he's got 78 pace uh, compared to 79. So he lost one pace. He gained one dribbling. He gained three shooting. He gained two passing, same defending, and he gained eight physical. So he's got every single stat at least a 60. So he's like a very well-rounded midfielder. And he's got high attack and work. He's a very well-rounded midfielder. So I think he's going to do wonders as a starter thing. Again, Liga Nos, not going to be that expensive probably. But, you know, again, it might surprise us. You never know. Uh, coming in at the right center mid is going to be instead of – it was Naby Keita, uh, but he's going to be an 83, so he's definitely going to be super expensive. But So we're going to bring in uh, – Marcel Sebitzer, who's a cam. Again, high attack and work rates. Four star weak foot is going to be kind of nice. Kind of, He's 5'10, so it's going to be kind of a. I don't know how. I don't know if it's going to be tall or not. But Sebitzer, uh, he's got a nice card. Absolutely nice card. Very, this is going to be the more. So, like, Bruno Fernandez will be the guy that kind of put, like, hangs out in the midfield a little bit. Still has a high attack and work rates because he's more well rounded. Sebitzer is going to be the one pushing up because he's got the pace. Uh, he lost. Holy crap. He lost four pace. Uh, he gained two dribbling. He gained five shooting. 
Defending still the same. He gained two passing and gained two physicality. So he got upgraded a little bit. So every stat's above 70, except for his defending. So he's going to want to push up the field a lot, bombing up the pitch, making chances, creating stuff like that for the attack, stuff like that. Gets a nice little strong link into Bruma as well. Nice little uh, link right there, which I, that's kind of one of the I would do Keita or Forsberg, but both 83, and that wouldn't work because that's going to be way too high. Um, but anyways, moving on. This is probably like the best trio I think you could have for a starter team. Honestly, is right in this right little corner, in the center mid, right back, right center back. It's uh, so we start off with we're going actually over to the Russian league now. And I mean, I went to the Russian league to start off last year, and it was actually I think it's a very good idea to go with for you guys. You guys want to buy cheap players. Uh, starting off, we're starting with Jaguar again, five foot ten. So they're all five foot ten, not the highest, but you know. They still have like very well-rounded well stats that might perform very nicely for us. Uh, high high seems to be like the box-to-box -box guy. Uh, in FIFA 18, compared to FIFA 17, he's got plus. He's got one more pace in FIFA 18. He's got same dribbling, same shooting, one less defending, same passing, and three less physicality. So he got downgraded from 81 to 80, but his card is still just magnificent. Looks like the only stat under 70 is physicality with 69. So basically, he's all 70 stats. So I think he's gonna perform very very nicely in the midfield, especially as a starter guy, especially in the Russian league. It's gonna be cheap. I can already. I, I'm not gonna be surprised if he's like. I'll be. I'll be surprised if he's like over like. 1400 coins just because I, I don't know he just seems like someone that'll be really cheap uh right back we have uh shmonikov this guy's been used every i've used this guy every single year to start off because this card is just it's just it's just so nice it is ridiculous five foot ten medium medium so he won't push up his field as much as a right back in this game he got downgraded to an 80 in fifa's 18 compared to fifa 17 which i'm okay with uh same pace same dribbling uh same shooting two less defending uh same passing and same physicality so he, he lost a little bit defending but he still has a great, great card in FIFA 18. I'm looking forward to using it. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. Um, a lot of pace. All of, Everything else is like 70s and then shooting. Nobody really cares about that much. But um, he's going to be a great sweaty uh, right back card, I think, to start off with. Um, this one is actually a very, very interesting card right here. Uh, let's see if I can pronounce it right. Uh, holy crap. How do you say this dude's name? Whatever. Um, so... In FIFA 17, he's got a 65 overall card uh, with 83 pace. Uh, he's got medium high, six foot tall, not bad. 66 defending, 66 physicality. Isn't the greatest. He's a silver card. In FIFA 18, his card is ridiculous. Looks like for a starter card. He went from a 65 to a 75 overall card. He's got uh, one less pace. Though, so he has 82 pace. He's got same dribbling. Uh, he gained what? Three better, three more shooting. He gained 10 more defending. He gained 11 more physical, and he gained. 14 more passing so he got upgraded plus 10 he's got an 80 pace for a center back which is just ridiculous i i think he, and he's gonna be cheap he's a 75 he's gonna be packed frequently he's gonna be just a, a very very disgusting card i can't wait to like ho hopefully his card like portrays very nicely defending physical is like eh but he's, he's kind of got an eric by i think just in like the russian league compared to the uh premier league so he's gonna be really cheap i feel like uh coming in as uh at the left center back is gonna be is it Abraham? Yeah. It's going to be David, uh, David Abraham. Um, he got downgraded as well a little bit, which kind of sucks. Is that an inform? Yeah, it's an inform, which is kind of crazy. Um, he got downgraded a little bit, which kind of sucks, but he's still in uh, in FIFA 18. Actually, wait, wait, wait. Hang on. Is this an, is this an inform or an upgrade? Uh, let me check. A, he's like the only Abraham like here, I think. Is this, be an, is this an inform? Or is this just this regular card? Okay, that is an inform. Okay, so he did get upgraded then, I guess. I didn't know that. I thought that was, I thought that was like a, uh, a different upgrade. Yeah, okay. So his regular card is 77. Uh, he got put up to a 79 this year in FIFA 18. So he's got uh, he got one less pace. He's got uh, four less dribbling, which is weird. He's got two better shooting. Less. Wow. He got less. Let. Oh no. He gained three defending. I was gonna say gained three defending. Gained two physical. Oh no. Gained one physical. And I mean, it's card. It's basically the same. But he's six foot two. So he's really tall. He's got the pace and everything. So this, these center backs should be pacey. You have 80 pace and 82 pace for center backs. FIFA 18. Uh, it's just an, a, a very well on a team. Um, the pace is there. The defending and physicality are kind of there. Um, coming in at, at the left back is going to be the Sweatmeister himself, uh, Wendell. Uh, not Went. God. Uh, man, I hate my life sometimes. Uh, it is going to be Wendell coming in at left back. He got downgraded by, by one, which kind of sucks. But he's got the same pace. Uh, one less dribbling. He got this. Uh, he's got two better pass or two better shooting, two less defending, same passing, same physicality. So it was a left back card. It's very nice left back card. Also, Brosinski 
was put at left back against for FIBA team this year as well. So, I mean, maybe you can, I can use Brasinski. They're both really, really low rated. They're 77 and 75 still, so I could probably get those for relatively cheap in the Bundesliga, uh, I'm going to guess, at the start of the game. And then coming in at goalie is her. This guy had a great year, actually, I guess, in the Bundesliga. Heradeki. He's got quite a few informs, some of that. He's got a very, very nice card overall. I'm going to guess this is an upgrade. Maybe an inform. And I'll go with this one for now. So he's, he's I mean, he's like there for chemistry, kind of, but also he's six foot three, so he's a pretty tall goalkeeper. He's got 79 diving in FIFA 18, 85 reflexes. Uh, 79 positioning, so it's almost like basically like having 80 diving, 80 positioning, 85 reflexes. The handling is a little bit less, but he's gonna be super cheap. He's 79 or he's 81. He's an 81 overall goalkeeper, which is gonna be relatively cheap, I think, for uh, the start of FIFA 18. So this is the team, guys, that I will maybe try to build depending on the prices. The only one I'm really kind of worried about would be Bruma because he's in the Bundesliga and stuff like that. But this is the team that I built. It's got just a lot of blistering pace up front. The midfield is very well rounded, except for I mean, the only, the only thing that sucks is the defending stat of Sabitzer, but he's He's like, he should be attacking a lot, so 32 defending is everything else. His lowest stat is 69. His lowest stat is 62. His lowest stat is, uh, s s well, no, well, that's in FIFA 17. But in FIFA 18, so the lowest stat on Jaguar is 69. Lowest stat on Bruno Fernandez is 63. And the lowest stat for CP2 is 32, which is defending. But everything else out of that is 70s or higher. So the, the, the midfield is very well-rounded. And the defense is just pace. It's just pace, man. It's absolutely. It's 86 pace, 80 pace, 82 pace, 87 pace. I don't know if you guys can build a, a better sweater team than this. Uh, that's going to be it, though, for uh, Teddy Field. Everyone would be on full camera team positions and stuff like that, but I'm not going to worry about that. Um, make sure to drop a like down below on this video if you guys enjoyed. This is going to be the end of the video. Make sure to drop a like if you have not dropped a like already. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. If you're not subbed already, follow me on Twitter, at SafeFarmRep. Send me some DMs if you guys want to talk some of that. I'm always down to talk FIFA. Send me your video. If you guys want to send me your uh, own starter teams, that'd be dope. I'd like to see what you guys create and some of that are like really cheap. Um, but that's going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And don't forget, as always, to put your sub in the fridge. Peace.